In this next video, I had a chance to sit down with Judy Foster, who does our classroom scheduling on campus, to talk to her about her experience in the BPA session around classroom scheduling within PeopleSoft. So here's uh, my interview with Judy. The first thing is, you know, I understand you attended the BPA sessions around uh, class scheduling in the system, and it was like one of the highest attended uh, sessions. Yeah. And I was just wondering, what did you think of that BPA session? I, I liked the ability that they were um, allowing their input mm -hmm. in addressing those issues. Um, I like the interface of it and the ability to do a lot of your um, input on one screen uh, with the, I don't remember what they're called, or the features that you can click on. Mm -hmm tabs and bring in the information that you need without having to go to other screens sure. as the, how we're currently having to do. Um, you literally have to go out of SMS and into um, another screen to do the alternate information. Could you elaborate on that a little bit? Um, well, currently in SMS, you do your main um, programming of the faculty in the room, etc. on one screen. But then if you need to um, add additional information, such as labs on a different day outside of the normal time, then you have to go to another screen, put in the same information all over again. Um, so it's redundancy. Mm -hmm. And you're constantly closing it out of screen and going to another screen. Not, not closing it out entirely, but you're having to click on a different uh, section to open it up. Gotcha. But you're literally going out of SMS on the main screen and then opening up uh, another screen. So in the PeopleSoft environment, there'll be just one screen that people will interface yes, and with. Yes, um, I learned the other day has favorites, which is really cool because then you can set it up to your specific needs and, and cut down your time even more uh, in tabbing through mm -hmm. things. But I think the interface will really allow people to do their clusters and everything much more easy than what they're doing it now. Mm -hmm. Because you're working on the main screen. Sure. So you, you can do almost everything on that main screen. And once the uh, instructor has a, I'm trying to think of the word this is called, but a special ID, then you can just put that in there and they come up automatically. So you're referring to the impl ID in the yes. system. And then the, they also said that once the information is in there, similar to what we're doing now, um, you can uh, move the classes over and then make some minor uh, changes as needed. That's great. Thanks for uh, spending some time with me, Judy, uh, to talk about the this BPA session. And I just want to know if you'd be willing to come back and visit us again and, and talk, tell us a little more about the integration that, of R25 into PeopleSoft once you learn more about that process. Yes. All right, great. Thanks, Judy.